Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, comparisons, and this I look using the brand new Tom Ford Rose Prism Eyeshadow Quad. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about this new eyeshadow quad from Tom Ford, then just keep on watching. I told you guys that we were gonna receive an avalanche of Tom Ford new products. There are so many on the line and the first two that just pop up are the two new eyeshadow quads on the wet and dry formula. They first became available at Tom Ford boutiques and now we have seen them at Nordstrom. I will be leaving all the details where to find them, links, um, everything that I'm using today as far as makeup goes on the description box below for your convenience. Today I will be reviewing the quad in rose prism and it comes you know very typical packaging from Tom Ford this is the number 33 I also have metallic demon but I will be leaving that one for another review so I will be doing a separate video right here we're just going to dedicate this video to rose prism and I think everybody including myself we're so excited to see these new eyeshadow quads because we have been seeing a lot of repetitive products from Tom Ford as far as shade goes and everything so these two right here they they just look a little bit different and exciting so here we go my friends this is how it comes on the little typical pouch from Tom Ford and then the quad is inside there just show it to you yeah, I'm so excited for this baby right here. And I already took out the plastic protector right here. It comes with the two little brushes and look at this beauty. Oh, isn't it so gorgeous? Again, this is the wet dry formula. Now, it seems very light. To be honest with you, it's very, very light, but it looks so stunning. It looks so, so pretty. So I think, I don't know, let's try it and see. I think it may work really good for those who have my skin tone, light to medium, deeper skin tones because it may show a little bit more. We we have to see right here. Okay, my friends, let me just get you closer and let's just start with swatches, eyeshadow look, then comparisons, and then to my final thoughts. Let's go for swatches right here. As you can see, these shades right here are very, very light. I really love this lilac -y tone right here. Okay, so this first shade is more of like a celestial shade. This top right here is more of like champagne tone with a little bit of a beige base. This right here is a very, 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 very light subtle peachy tone leaning towards champagne a little bit on the warmer side this one right here is a lilac shade and then this one right here is more of like it's kind of like a bronze with a little bit of like a mauve undertone to it so it has a little bit of coolness in it that makes it really really beautiful let me just go ahead and build it up a little bit more and then these three shades right here they are all satin shades. These, these, and this. So, there you go, there are the swatches. I mean, so pretty. Sonia G Mini Booster, and I'm gonna go to the peach shade on the palette. And I'm gonna apply this shade above the crease. I'm just gonna dust it off right now. Now I'm going to the deepest shade using the same Sonia G Mini Booster. And I'm going to take this shade and dust it off right on the crease and on the outer V. I'm just creating layers. That's all what I'm doing right now. Sonia G Jumbo Blender and I'm gonna go to the deeper shade and now I'm gonna apply this shade on the outer V a little bit more intense I'm 
going to go back again to the same shade with the same brush and now I'm going to use the orange flower water from Chantecai just to wet it and you can see right there how you build the pigment quite a bit This shade is a gorgeous cool tone. Stunning. Sonia G Builder Pro and I'm gonna go to that peach shade. And first I'm gonna apply it dry. Again, I just want you guys to see the intensity if I'm applying it directly on the skin. super soft, very delicate. And now I'm gonna go again to this shade and we're gonna do the same process. I'm gonna wet it, same Chantecai orange flower water. Smith 253 brush. And I'm gonna go to that lilac shade. And apply it first dry inner portion of my eyelid all the way until it meets with that peachy shade. Now we're gonna do the same process, going back again, same brush, and again, just gonna go ahead and wet it. Sonia G Flat Definer and I'm gonna go to the deepest shade and I'm gonna apply it on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger and I'm just gonna go to that celestial shade. I'm just gonna tap it right on the middle of the eyelid. Kind of like a little bit over top of this beautiful peachy shade. Just to add a little bit of like a halo, a focal point right there. Now I'm gonna be using the same applicator that comes with the quad going to that celestial shade. This is the spongy side and I'm just gonna apply it on the inner portion of my eyelid. You can use a brush too. And on my brow bone. Okay friends, done with the eyes and now let's go into comparisons. So the first one that I thought right away, first Ross, <laughs> this has been such an amazing eyeshadow quad since it was released last year for the holiday of 2020. So here they are, side by side. As you see, there's a little bit of similarities, but honestly, this shade right here is more pink in tone. So let's do this. Top, I'm gonna go first with Rose Prism, and then with whatever I'm comparing it, in this case, first Frost. Rose Prism, first Frost, as you can tell. First frost has more pink in it, this one is more lilac. And also this one right here has a little bit of a metallic intensity in it. And now let's go for this shade right here. And from first frost, this and this shade. Definitely rose prism is a lot lighter. I'm getting distracted right here. There's such a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> it's a monarch outside. Okay, sorry. Now, and then as far as this shade goes, they are different. This one right here, like I said, it has more beige in it. It's more of like a topper celestial shade. It has micro glitters. Well, this one right here is more of like metallic, icy shade. Now let's compare it with Soleil de Hiver. And 
there's again some close similarities right here. That obvious, the peachy shade. Half here, rose prism, and here is Soleil de Hiver. Very close, but I will say that Soleil de Hiver is a little bit warmer in tone if I compare it to Rose Prism. I mean, here, honestly, we are just kind of like pulling hairs <laughs> because the similarities aren't like way too many. And here, same thing, Celestial Shade. This one right here is more metallic -y. All right. And then let's go for this one. And then I'm gonna swatch this one. One right here. You can see cool tone right over here. Okay, and then I ran out of room, so I will do it right here on the side. Now I have here Soleil et Lume. Um, honestly, looking at them in person, this shade and this shade. They are different, but let's just go ahead and swatch it. So I'm gonna go index and then middle finger with this one. Now let's go for new deep. I think new deep has more intensity. It's um it just will give you more than this other quad rose prism. So I will say only this shade right here because this shade right here is again another metallic. So, okay, <laughs> let's go for this. So let's go for this right here. And then from new deep, I'm gonna swatch this right here. They are close. Um, this one is cooler. more pink in it, the one from New Deep. And then the last one is this Shade and Illuminate palette in Rose Cashmere. And Rose Prism is a lot cooler in tone. Again, same thing. I don't think there's nothing really to compare right here. None of the shades. I mean, looking at it in person, yeah. Alrighty, my friends, completely done with comparisons, the full demo swatches of this beauty right here. And I have to tell you, I really, really love this palette. I love this duality of cool tones right here, and then a little bit of this warm tone and expected on this side. I will have to say though, I don't know how this will work on someone that has a very fair, fair, you know, skin tone, but on my skin tone, I do have a light to medium skin tone, leaning medium tan, getting closer right there. I, again, I will be leaving all the details of my makeup on the description box below, and there will be my foundation match, the one that I'm using today. And I have to say that the eyeshadows, they actually, they appear on me. I mean, like you can definitely see them. It just created a very elegant, sophisticated, but also a very feminine look. A little bit of like an intriguing look because it's there, but you just have this, also the combination, you know, having the lilac and then the peach shade and then this beautiful, I don't know how to really describe it because it does have a little bit of a bronze tone but also has a little bit of a mauve tone. So, I mean, it does have a lot of, um, it's very different from other quads from Tom Ford. That's what I want to say. So I I think this is a thumbs up amazing quad from Tom Ford. Love the formulation of the wet and dry formula because as you were able to see by the demo, you can use it and make a very subtle, not 
and I'm not saying that this one is intense, but if you want something very subtle, not fuss too much about it, you can use them completely dry. Or if you want to show just a little bit more of the intensity, use it wet. The beautiful formulation about Tom Ford 2 is that even applying it wet, it does increase on the folds of the eyelids. And I do have a lot of folds on my eyelids. My eyelids are hooded too, and I don't find any trouble. You know, like anytime that I'm using this formulation and any Tom Ford eyeshadows in, the, in his quads or on this format right here, I find no issues. I mean, no fading, no fallout. Uh, easy of application, very easy of use, and again, it doesn't gather on those fine lines, which, you know, I'm super happy to report because I'm already, I usually say, on my fourth floor, you know, and signs of aging are there, and I know sometimes um, I have been one, you know, when I was, you know, first looking through my eyes, it's like, okay, I'm getting fine lines here and there, to be like, should I use something metallic or should I use something that has shimmer or should I use have something that is a little bit more satin, will emphasize those fine lines and um, with this formulation, no, you don't and I mean, stunning, absolutely stunning to me. This is a nice shadow palette that you can use it day or night because like I said, it gives a very sophisticated look so if you are going for a very elegant evening that you just want something very light and maybe your lips to be a little bit bolder or just as simple as I'm using it right now. I mean, again, it's very, very sophisticated, very, very feminine too. So you can use it any time of the year. I mean, some people may say this is a spring, summer, but for me, this one is all year round. Super, super beautiful. Super happy with my purchase. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, I wanted to mention that I don't know why Nordstrom has this quad as pink dusk or dust pink or something like that. Um, don't worry, it's the same. It's on the back, rose prism, as long as it has the number 33, it should be fine. Same picture, don't worry about it. And now I would love to know from you, have you purchased this quad already? Are you waiting for it? You are waiting for this review. What do you think about it? Are you putting it on your wish list? Let's continue the conversation on the section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share it with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you.